Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to place trades on futures using Binance Exchange. First and foremost, you have to create an account with Binance. Then after doing that, you fund with USDT. After funding with USDT, you transfer. Now, this is how to transfer. You should come to um, wallet over here. Then you click on transfer. Can you see it? Now, it depends on how you funded your wallet. So I believe you should, maybe, uh, if you use P2P, you can just do funding to, uh, okay, you do funding to wallet, to spot wallet first. After you have done that, you now do from spot wallet to M futures. This is what I'm tapping on to switch that side. This is what I'm ta tapping on. So after doing that, you tap on here, this place over here, tap on it and select USDT. Can you see? So, I have now USDT. Let me just transfer everything. Transfer everything to my futures account. Uh, uh, transfer everything to my futures account. So after doing that, now the next thing. Can you see this futures account now having ten dollars inside? Sorry, nineteen dollars inside. Can you see? So this nineteen dollars now is what I can use to actually trade. All right. Uh, the next thing is to come here. Under here, these buttons below. So I'll just tap on futures. Can you see? I will allow it to load. My network is bad. Uh, let me pause this video so that it will load. All right now um so the next thing is to long or short it depends on what you want to do so if you want to long that means you want to buy you click you leave it on this buy then if you want to short that sell you toggle it to sell so that's how to go if you are doing buy use this one if you are doing sell use this one so it depends on your analysis now this cross what cross means is that um you can actually let's say you for example you enter a trade with two dollars now and you put it on cross when you um, begin to lose more than two dollars in as far you have more than two dollars in your uh, futures wallet your trade will keep running do you get that your trade will keep running so it can tap from your balance to come to keep your trade running but if you just isolated once the money you used to enter gets to um, zero then it's liquidate your uh, your position and um, you're out of the trade hope that is clear so we're using cross now the next thing here is this 125 this is leverage so if you're entering with one dollar for example and you're using 125 x that your one dollar will be acting as one hundred twenty-five dollars. That's just what it is. So, and immediately, if the trade is going against you, and uh, immediately they, you lose more than one dollar, it closes, and that's the. Um, it, it depends on the the type you're using. If you're using cross, it will not close, but you will now see your uh, PNL reading minus one hundred something percent. And that's how to keep going until your money finally finish. And on the other hand, if you are winning, you need to be increasing your win also massively. Massively. That's leverage. Then the next one here. The next one here is limits, as you can see. So this limit is when you are placing the order at a particular price different from the current market price. For example, look at the mock current market price here, 41,897. It keeps changing 41,907. So, if you want to buy at a price lesser than that, that means you believe that price will drop to like 41,800 and um, before you now start going up, so you can just limit that is it. And um, well, first, firstly, we'll use markets. Let's use market first. So, market is just immediately you press buy to just keep to trade will just start running streets now that's that's that then the next one is this uh this part here ptc slash or usdt that's 
um, um, what uh, uh, currency you want your margin to to be shown uh, in like do you want it to be shown in BTC or USDT that does not really matter but I prefer to put USDT so that I can easily see the dollar value of whatever I'm doing instead of me converting if you choose Bitcoin you'll be seeing BTC instead of USDT so let's just stay, leave it at um, USDT oh, come on okay so here is where you can uh, choose the percentage of your capital you want to use I have $19 in my futures account so here I can switch the percentage 59% 57% 56% so let's say I want to use just 2% 2% okay and start 6 cents let's say that's what I want to use then the next one here is your take profit on stop loss so I'm entry let's say I'm entry on market price I can put my take profit to be like 50,000 my stop loss to be let's say 41,500 what does this imply this implies that if the price should keep rising and you get to 50,000 it's going to close for me in profits because I'm buying then on the other hand uh, if the price start declining and it goes against me and you get to 41,500 close the loss for me I don't want to have more loss I hope that is taking so I'll just click on buy Forty-one thousand five hundred. Bye. Then you click this. Can you see? It starts to run immediately, and um, here you will see your open orders. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The network is poor. Okay, you see your open orders here. Uh, I have a video on orders, other types. If you really want to if you want to uh, learn more about types of orders then you can watch that video I will drop the link to that video in the description uh, section so you can get it from there so that is it and if you are doing for sale it's just the same way you have doing for sale you can choose to do limit if you are doing limit that means you are selling at a price higher than the current price then you put the higher price say let's say I want to sell at 50,000 I can put it here then you can um, slide the amount of your capital you want to use let's say I want to use 20 27 percent here on the street so my take profit will be um, uh, let's say take profit is around 45,000 then stop loss will be around let's say 50,500 so this will be set as a painting order can you see the the open orders has now increased to three as you can see so this is it here the one I just opened now price 50,000 then um, take profit and stop loss all of them I did like that so that is it that is it um please uh, I have to say this before I end this video um, this is not a financial advice you are responsible for your money futures trading is very very risky you can lose all your money in one single trade i would recommend that uh, you try and um, have some knowledge of what you are doing before even trying to do it if you just watch this video and find your wallet and price buy or sell you can actually lose your money Thank you for watching. Bye.